with Palace 3-1 up from the first leg. From a rain-soaked valley, we're joined once again by Steve Dixon. It's cup tie action here at the valley tonight, and again the visitors for the third time in the last four weeks are Crystal Palace. But this time Crystal Palace come to the valley with a 3-1 lead from the first leg of this Coca-Cola Cup second round tie at Selhurst Park. For Charlton, one or two changes from the side that turned out that night. The old, most obvious one being, of course, Peter Garland, who, as well as being suspended, also has a hamstring injury. So Alan Pardew is the change there. Although Pardew, of course, in the side that drew 1-1 at Wolves last Saturday. Crystal Palace, of course, coming to the Valley this evening as league leaders with 20 points in their nine games. Charlton in fifth with 17 from 10 and some familiar names of course in the Palace lineup, including of course John Humphrey and David White who of course was on loan with the Addicts a couple of seasons ago. Chris Armstrong at number nine returns to the Palace lineup having been sent off at the Valley in the Anglo-Italian Cup. He's now served his suspension. It'll be Crystal Palace to get us underway, picking from left to right, wearing white shirts, blue shorts, and blue socks, Charlton in the familiar colours attacking the south stand end, the end in which the Palace supporters are housed, behind Nigel Martin's goal. This is Roger, and that's offside against Barry. Bill Chappell with the free kick, deep towards penalty area, Coleman got up well, this is David White, number 10, this is John Humphrey, and the ball, you can see how the ball held up in the water there, but it's benefited Charlton because Nelson's away here, Nelson with the drive, across in towards Lieburn, was it a shot, was it a cross, it doesn't really matter, but Charlton coming close to opening the scoring there, Nelson pulled young, he turned it across the face of the goal, and Lieburn was an inch or two away from making contact. Pardew, pitcher, has fallen kindly for Charlton with Robinson. This is Barmer, and this is Lieburn. And again it's Carl Lieburn. And now Darren Pitcher's in here, gets the ball across, and a spectacular effort from Gary Nelson. Pitcher turned the ball back into the box. Nelson was first to react, but his shot was always rising over Martin's crossbar. Palace had the throw. Just inside their own half. And White. And a poor cross. And now White with the shots. And Salmon with the save. And possibly Palace's first real strike on goal this evening. And it was David White who produced a fine shot. And Mick Salmon who produced a fine save. again and now Lee Byrne and now shot coming in with luck and that'll be a corner Charlton trying to work the shooting chance there Lee Byrne turned inside south gate but he was immediately surrounded by three Palace defenders and Lee Byrne's in again there and it was a whisker away from Alan Pardew and Charlton just aren't getting the breaks in front of goal this evening. Panis, of course, still holding that 3-1 lead from the first leg. And now Grant trying to get away from Bowery. And that looked like a fair challenge, but referee Peter Folks has given the free kick. And I think John Humphrey protested 
rather too vehemently to the referee's liking and he's going to be booked and Martin with a save it was Minto with the free kick it may even have taken deflection but Nigel Martin got across his goal well side for Barry and Barry has picked out Chris Armstrong and there it is and that has killed the tie Crystal Palace take the lead Chris Armstrong scores they've rarely threatened in this second half but Armstrong has picked out what will most certainly send Crystal Palace into the third round. Robinson, still Charlton coming forward and Nigel Martin had to step backwards to tip that one over Robinson cutting inside Humphrey got the shot in Martin adjusted himself well so there'll be no trip to Wembley for Charlton this year in the Coca-Cola Cup there can be but a few seconds remaining in this tie as referee Peter Folks blows the final whistle on the night it's finished Charlton Athletic nil, Crystal Palace 1 and on aggregate it's finished Charlton Athletic 1 Crystal Palace 4 the damage being done most certainly in that first leg at Selhurst Park Charlton unable to climb the mountain here at the valley and it's Crystal Palace who go through into the third round of the Coca-Cola Cup